Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Sergeant Loser and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to discuss a topic that has been a subject of debate amongst demo mains for ages. And by ages I really mean for a few years, and that is Demo Man vs Demo Knight. Now before we dive in, let it be clear that this is not a verdict, more of a comparison of facts and why I prefer certain playstyles over others. Now that we have that out of the way, let us take a look at what exactly I'm talking about when I refer to Demo Men and Demo Knights. First of all, the one I'm sure all of you know about from watching my garbage gameplay, the Demo Man. The Demo Man is pretty much just a stock Demo Man with a few minor changes from time to time. It usually consists of a grenade launcher, a sticky launcher of any kind, and a melee of your choice. Now of course, this is my preferred style of play and I will explain why later, but for now, let's cover what a Demo Knight is. Now, a demo knight is more commonly seen in pubs rather than competitive, because a pub is where the loadout is most effective. In fact, it's rarely, if ever, used in competitive play. At high levels of play, like ESA invite, it's basically something you'd only pick if you were high on angel dust and wanted to lose. This loadout usually consists of a grenade launcher or a pair of boots, a shield of any kind, and a melee, usually one of the three swords, either the Persian Persuader, the Islander, or the Hafsa Toichi. This loadout used to be extremely popular due to how ridiculously broken it was. Trust me, if you had to charge and targe, you were basically invincible. With the old high turner, you were basically an unstoppable truck, and with a splendid screen, you bashed anyone who stood in your way. On top of that, with the old lock and load, which could sometimes one-shot people in 125 health, you were a beast. But what happened? Valve hit the nerf hammer on this loadout hard. The charge and charge doesn't make you basically invincible anymore, the tide turner is not as easy to chain kills on, and the splendid screen just doesn't get as much use out of it compared to its two brothers. But anyways, how effective is this loadout in reality? Honestly, like any loadout, in the right hands, this thing will make people cry. It's completely devastating. And in fact, I used to be a demo knight main myself, and it's even how it came off my profile name right now, 1001 Losers. Even today, it's pretty much very, very strong, but it's lost popularity for the reason that I just mentioned. And as for why I don't play Demo Knight as much, I guess I kind of learned to prefer stock Demo Man, and I'm going to talk about why that's the case now. Now, bear in mind, this is all personal preference. I still really like Demo Knight, and I think it's fun, so please don't say that I'm bashing Demo Knights, okay? So anyway, in my opinion, Demo Man is just more versatile. As mentioned earlier, Demo Knight is almost never used in high level play and that's because it lacks the consistent damage that the stock Demo Man offers. Now, I make videos for an audience that mostly plays in pubs, myself included, so this isn't really applicable, is it? Well, yes and no. Of course, in a pub, your role as a Demo Man is just to drop your stickies and pipes and blow everyone up, hopefully. But with the Demo Knight, you have to go balls deep, swing your sword like a crazed maniac, get a few kills, and hopefully escape with your life intact. This, on the surface, seems like a much more fun playstyle, and way more wonderful than having to actually somewhat aim or have consideration for people like your medic. But what about if you encounter a large sentry nest, or if the entire enemy team is comprised of hit scan classes, or if you need to bomb that enemy medic and make him drop uber, or well, you get the idea. Now, I'm not saying that Demo Knight is bad, that's definitely not what I'm saying. In fact, I think that Demo Knight is very fun, and I wouldn't mind playing it if I was in the mood to mess around. I'm just saying that I personally prefer to stock Demo Man because it's simply more fun for me to be able to fill both an offensive and defensive role, and I also love landing those fat pipes. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you made it this far without puking, fainting, dying, or getting stage 4 of a severe disease, good for you. I'll see you guys in the next video, and tits off for telecom. Rest in